Hi everyone, it's Holly Astral and welcome to part two of my Ask a Tattoo Artist. This is like a kind of bumper edition. What happened was I posted a video up on Instagram last night um, asking people if they had any questions for me and I ended up with a bunch of like little questions that I thought would be cool just as like one big Q&A video and then as I went to film it, it was massive. So I split it into two. Um, so this is the second part of that. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you everyone who submitted me a question. If you want to find me on um, Instagram or anything like that, my name is um, at holly underscore astral. And um, yeah, so that's it. So let's get on with part two of the questions. Ivy Brandine says, when would you suggest someone should go for the job stoppers? Finger tattoos, face, neck, etc. Um, once you have an established career and or it doesn't matter, um, about getting a job anymore or if you're very secure in what you're doing is not going to change and it won't matter and it won't affect you. I say that because there's nothing wrong with getting your hands and face and neck and fingers and tattoos but I would always advise people that you should be getting tattoos for the job you want not the job you've got. The way I see it is it would be awesome if we all lived in an equal and free society where tattoos on your hands and face and fingers didn't matter, no one would assume anything about you, that would be rad and obviously that's what we're all working towards and that's how I treat people but you also need to be realistic that we don't live in that world and 20 years down the line if you don't get a job because you have a tattoo on your face or your hands you will be right, you will be correct, you shouldn't have got judged and that person is wrong and the establishment is stupid and all of those things, you are completely right but you will be the one that loses out, you'll be the one that doesn't get the job or doesn't get the promotion or you know whatever. You do have to understand that kind of you live in a society where that's the framework and you can't expect everyone to bend around you. If you're in an established job or if you run your own business or if you're in the kind of um, creative career path where it doesn't matter and no one cares anyway then do it um, but you need to be very sure kind of not just sure of now but sure of 10 15 20 years down the line um, because yeah you don't know where life's gonna take you and what you're gonna do yeah I hope that I did a good job of explaining that oh, that makes sense it's little Chewies <laughs> that's such a cute name little Chewies says would you yourself consider taking on an apprentice in the future? Um, maybe, but like way in the future, like I, I haven't got enough experience to even begin thinking about that. She also says, oh, your work is stunning, by the way. I'd love to get a tattoo from you one day. Thanks, little chew thanks, little chewies. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I'd love to get to tattoo you. That would be rad. Hello, Cassie Six says, have you ever tattooed yourself? Uh, yes, I've tattooed myself a few times when I was an apprentice because I needed someone to practice on and um, where I did my apprenticeship wasn't anywhere near my friends or um, anything like that. It was hard for people to get to the shop so I did end up tattooing myself. There is one tattoo that I did do on myself that I'm actually getting lasered off at the moment. Not because it's particular, well, is it terrible? It's, it's not terrible, terrible. It's an apprentice tattoo. I just did it and I did it in a dumb place where I kind of spoil a good canvas. It's like at the top of my thigh, so it gets in the way of me having a big thigh piece or anything cool. Um, so it's not particularly that I want rid of the tattoo, it's more that uh, if I could tr teleport it to a different place, that would be awesome, but I can't, so I'm getting rid of it. Uh, yeah, so that's a long way of answering. I have tattooed myself. When people find out you're a tattoo artist, they go, oh, did you do all your tattoo yourself? And it's like, what? <laughs> like what? Did I, ta did I tattoo my own right arm? So yeah, I have tattooed myself. It really sucks. Um, it makes you really sweaty. Um, it makes you really angry. I just wanted it to be over. Um, and I didn't do a very good job <laughs> because you can't tell how far in you're putting the ink. So I did a real bad job. It's full of blowouts. It's very bumpy and it's not very good. So yeah, I'm getting it removed. <laughs> Firestarter says, do how do you keep yourself motivated when you find you're having a slight art block or you're just feeling down? Ooh, I've actually got a lot to say on that. So I feel like that deserves a whole video on its own. So I think I will do. But just to answer that question briefly, how do you keep yourself motivated? Sometimes I find the best way to keep myself motivated when I'm having a bit of a block is to just have a break and to just completely stop. Um, I used to be one of these people that would, I would work all the time and I very much equated 
busyness with um, like worth. Do you know, I don't know how to describe it. Like I'll do another video about this, but um, being busy all the time that somehow if I was very busy then that meant what I was doing was important or it had worth or it had value. And I think as I've kind of moved away of that and moved away from that and learned to just take a fucking break sometimes, <laughs> that's when the ideas come to you um, because it's impossible to be creative all the time and you can't expect to be. So yeah, that I, that's a very quick answer to what I think is a really interesting question and I will answer that more thoroughly on another video because yeah, I think that's a good question. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my rambling. <laughs> um, I never. It's weird. I, I still find filming for YouTube so weird because you're essentially. I'm. Well, you can see where I am. I'm sitting in my hallway on my own um, in an empty house. It's Monday. It's my day off. Um, so I'm just kind of sitting here talking to no one. So I just think, how weird is this? Thanks everyone who submitted me a question. As always, if you want to find me um, elsewhere online, you can see my tattoo work on. Instagram, my name there is at holly underscore astral. You can find me on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, any of those. Um, so come say hi and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.